finally got a college football video game for the first time in 11 years last week. But as you all know, prior to the release of College Football 25, the last College Football video game was NCAA 14, which came out over a decade ago. 11 years is a long time, and College Football looked a lot different when NCAA 14 first came out in 2013. For starters, conference realignment wasn't nearly as crazy as it is today. And for the most part, the conferences still made sense from a geographical perspective. The Pac-12 still existed, Texas and Oklahoma were still in the Big 12 and hadn't joined the SEC yet. Maryland and Rutgers weren't even in the Big 10, as Maryland was in the ACC and Rutgers was in the Big East, and the conferences overall felt like they had a lot more meaning to them. Aside from the conferences looking a lot different when NCAA 14 came out, there was also no transfer portal or NIL as we know it today. Five-star recruits weren't posting pics of their new Lambos on IG or choosing where to go based on where they would make the most money. And if an athlete wanted to transfer, they had to ask their head coach for permission to contact other schools. Their coach coach then had the option to accept or deny that request, and if the request was denied, the athlete could appeal it to the school's athletic director and hope to get it fulfilled. Now if we take a look at the actual 2013 college football season itself, we'll find that it was a very memorable one. Nick Saban and Alabama were coming off of back-to-back -back national championships and were ranked number one in the preseason AP poll. To start the season, Lane Kiffin was the head coach at USC, but was fired on September 29th after a 3-2 start and was replaced by Ed Ogeron, who went 6-2 as an interim head coach. Ogeron resigned at the end of the season, and Steve Sarkeesian stepped in to become the new permanent head coach. Hugh Freeze was the head coach at Ole Miss, Les Miles was running the ship at LSU, and Mac Brown was in his 16th season at Texas. James Franklin was also still at Vanderbilt, and Bill O'Brien was the head coach at Penn State. Like I just mentioned, this was a pretty memorable season, and a big reason for this was because of Auburn. The first crazy play from Auburn came on November 16th when they were playing Georgia, and one of the most memorable plays in college football history was created and is now referred to as the prayer at Jordan Hare. Auburn had blown a 20 point lead in the fourth quarter and was now losing by one point. The score was 38 to 37 and it was fourth and 18. Auburn quarterback Nick Marshall threw up a prayer that bounced off of two Georgia defenders hands and was caught by wide receiver Ricardo Lewis for the game winning touchdown. This play is a miracle in itself but what's even crazier is the fact that the next week Auburn played Alabama where arguably the most memorable play in college football history was created the kick six. Not only is this one of the craziest college football plays of all time but it ended up being a huge win for Auburn as they knocked off the back-to-back -back national champs Alabama and would eventually go on to play in that year's national championship game against Florida State. Speaking of Florida State, Jameis Winston was the Heisman Trophy winner in 2013 as he racked up 4,057 passing yards to go along with 219 rushing yards and 44 total touchdowns as a freshman. To go along with his Heisman campaign, Florida State also beat Auburn in the BCS national championship game that year. And the BCS is kind of crazy to think about because now in 2024, there are 12 teams competing for a national championship, whereas back in 2013, the BCS championship game only consisted of the top two teams. Some other memorable moments from this season include Johnny Manziel doing Johnny Manziel things, Nebraska's tipped Hail Mary against Northwestern, Michigan State's stunning Ohio State in the Big Ten championship game, Penn State's quadruple overtime win over Michigan, and Georgia Southern beating Florida 26-20 in the swamp. Overall, I think it's fair to say that college football looked a lot different back in 2013 when NCAA 14 was released. And aside from the differences, it was a very entertaining season. And now fast forward 11 years to 2024, and college football looks so much different. But at least we have a video game to play now. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If there's anything important from the 2013 college football season that I left out and forgot to include in the video, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate everyone for tuning in and taking time to watch the video. And if you want to hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it as it helps me grow the channel and get this content out to more people who love college football. I hope everyone has an awesome rest of their day and I'll catch you in the next video.